Dwayne, we were talking to PJ and Damar about certain clubs I know you've talked about over the years. It just seem you have other teams' numbers, other teams have yours in Chicago, certainly the last few seasons. Any reason for it? Is it just one of those one of those things? Uh, well, you know, a lot of times, Eric, it's matchups. Yeah. You know, matchups driven. I remember the old days we had Utah, Stockton, and Malone in Seattle. We always struggled to beat them. And then the year we went to the finals in 96, we finally got over that hump and beat them. But uh, for whatever reason, Sean Kemp had trouble guarding Malone. And then once he got his confidence of guarding him, say, look, I can guard this guy. Then we got over the hump. So a lot of times it's matchup driven. I don't know what the, the reasons are, the excuses are that we haven't uh, had you know, any luck against Chicago. But you know, the excuse is not important right now. We've got to get over this hump and uh, face it and attack it. And, um, you know, but again, there's usually matchup driven in those type of series. And everybody has that, uh, has a team or a matchup that they have trouble with. Do you think, based on that, the matchups maybe are a little more favorable going into this game given uh, the new personnel? Well, I don't know. We'll see. I don't, you know, you, I'm not going to predict. You know, we'll see what's, what's going to happen. But again, uh, you know, we've got, a, what, 11 in a row, and it's real. And, um, it, you know, it's a team that's playing with a lot of confidence right now, playing tough. They're still a, a Chicago um, type team, a physical, very, very hard driving, physically, um, you know, demanding on defense. So we've got to face that team, uh, you know, head on. How different are they without Gibson, without McDermott, who's kind of been a Raptor killer, without Dwayne Wade, obviously? Well, they, they, they still, you know, Butler's still there, so they're still a physical attack the paint. Uh, they're number one in the league in offensive rebounding, number one in the, in the league in second chance points. So everything they're doing is a grinded, uh, you know, mud battle in the paint that you gotta gotta be ready to attack and, and play against. Whether it's defensively attacking the paint or going to the rim, or offense, uh, 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 I'm sorry, offensively going to the paint, attacking the rim, or defensively keeping them out of there. So uh, it, it's going to be a physical matchup. A, a game that we got to come with a disposition to start the game uh, as we have the last couple of games uh, to ready to, to fight that battle. How difficult is uh, PJ to make Jimmy's life tonight? Well, I don't know. We will see again. Uh, you know, he, he, Jimmy Butler is a very good player. Uh, you know, DC is going to, you know, it has the first assignment with him. And then PJ's there. And it's, it's a team thing. It's not a one on one, it's a, a team versus Chicago. A uh, team versus Jimmy Butler when he has the ball. A uh, team versus Rondo when he has the ball. So I don't want to get into a one-on-one -on -one, uh, DC versus Butler, or PJ versus. It's not that because you you know though it, it ultimately there's four of the dudes out there. Uh, is any part of you concerned that the spirit of Doug McDermott might inhabit some other unassuming bull and have him drop 30 out of nowhere? <laughs> well, you know, that's, uh, McDermott's always had a, uh, all, no matter, the other night he came into OKC the first time he touched the ball and made a three. So, um, again, Zipser's playing very well right now. Meritich is always a capable three-point shooter. Uh, Kid Valentine from Michigan State is really playing well right now, with a lot of confidence shooting the ball. So. Any of those guys are capable, but it's up to us to make sure we make it hard for them to, to get themselves going. Uh, JB's been seeing more run in the fourth lately and seeing more, I think, confidence showing overall. Do um, you think that confidence coming from the trust that you're showing him in the fourth, or, or are you showing him the trust in the fourth because of his confidence? Well, again, our whole thing here as a, a team is to win. And I'm going to put the five guys on the floor that's playing well, whether it's JV, Surge at five, Jakob at five, and JV's been playing well. And, uh, uh, you know, the matchup, is, like I said at the beginning, it's a matchup driven league. And uh, fortunately, the last couple of games that we've had, Drummond at the five, you've had Miles Turner at the five. And so he's had matchups that are, are favorable in those situations. So uh, the hard thing, for, again, for JV, and he's learning, he's getting better at it, is guarding those fives that are spacing out to the three-point line consistently. And uh, we're going to do what's best for our team, for us, to win with the matchups. And you know, if a guy's like that and JV can guard those guys at three-point line, we'll have him out there. But if not, we'll put Surge or whoever at the five to make sure we have the right matchup. I'm going to say this somewhat tongue-in-cheek mm -hmm. tongue here. Does DeMar kind of let the cat out of the bag a little bit as far as you're concerned that, hey, 
you can play defense? Well, he can play defense. Yeah. DeMar DeRozan is too good an athlete not to play defense. And, uh, you Last know, games, he's definitely. really done an excellent job of pushing himself, of making sure he has attention to detail, doing what he's supposed to do defensively, uh, physically putting his body on people. And, uh, you know, and that's what we got to have for us to be a, a serious, um, you know, contender. We got to have all five, not just, you know, two guys playing, but all five men have to be competitive, physical, uh, and playing on the defensive end.